Do you wear a black beanie everywhere? Have you been through heartbreak and don't know how to unleash those emotions? Has the English language become boring to you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, I know just the band for you. Molchat Doma is a Belarusian post-punk rock band formed in 2017. They have three members and I'm pretty sure all of them have been through some tough shit. If you listen to any Doomer playlists, then the name will not be new to you. They are mentioned in every fucking Doomer song compilation that exists and for a good reason. Their songs are amazing. you say that you won't listen to this because it's sung in Russian, hold up for a second. Yes, their songs are in Russian, but you don't need to know Russian to know the why, but my British friend. For example, look at the comments on my favorite track of this album, Kaletka. <laughs> Their songs aren't even depressing though, they have a depressing vibe but I can't call it as sad as 17 of XXXTentacion. Molchat Doma gives more of a melodramatic or a melancholic vibe than actual depression. Their use of synthesizers is top notch, synths give off a futuristic vibe in other songs and artists like Daft Punk use it to simulate the sounds of the future, but these three Slavs use it to give off the vibe of typical Russian depression. The songs are different but it fits the album perfectly, and you have no bisexual vampire like Playboy Carti to ruin the only good song on the album. My favorite songs in this album is Tansevat and Kletka, which means dance and cage. Tansevat is different from any of all the other songs on this album because it's about fucking dancing. The chorus is literally I cannot dance with an amazing solo at the end. Picking my favorite track is really hard in this album because I'm stuck with Tansevat or Kletka and they have their own vibes. Tansevat has a more upbeat vibe and Kletka is like this. <laughs> Kletka got me into Molchat Doma though, so I'm fucking cool with that. Even though if you don't know Russian, you won't understand the lyrics. Let me explain it to you. The lyrics in this whole album is mysterious and you basically don't get what it means. For example, look at Kletka. This is the street, enter the building, go up to the 8th floor, ring the bell, knock on the door and nobody will open for you. Run fool, run fool. Now you might be thinking, damn. I guess all Russians are as crazy as they said, but no, I'm not gonna go into the depth and the meaning of these lyrics because I too have no idea what they mean. The main thing about this album is the vibe it gives off, which is why I can't review it like fucking Drake. Molchat Doma in English means silent houses and the album Etaji means floors and it has this amazing cover art of Hotel Panorama in Slovakia which has been standing since 1970. Look, I never want to end up in Slovakia as long as I can in my life but if I do end up in Slovakia I know which hotel I'm gonna visit and ejaculate on the walls of. So I can't really talk more about this album because to really understand this shit you have to listen to it yourself. The only thing I can give right now is a rating. 5 out of 5, it's fucking... Fucking... Let me make my dick hard, you know? You know, when I hear a good ass band, I want to go to their live concert. I mean, I didn't really have money before to go to any live concerts and I was, you know, pretty sad about that I couldn't go to, you know, Kayak at a placebo when they were in Georgia. But since I've recently got a job and since I've recently gotten fired because of the whole pandemic that's going on, you know, after this virus ends uh, and the lockdown gets released, I'm gonna go back to my job and get my fucking cash dollars and shit. But the main thing is, I looked up Molchat Doma's lives every fucking where and they were going on tour everywhere except fucking Georgia where I live in. They were fucking Germany, fucking Uzbekistan almost. They were not even on tour for Russia. I would have went to Russia for their concert. But so there is this annual music festival in Georgia. It's called Tbilisi Open Air. And I was talking with my friend at around 4 a.m. And you know, we were talking about Tbilisi Open Air 
and he said shit like oh man dude Tbilisi open air got delayed I, I really wanted to see Molchat Adoma though I, I went what the fuck hey bro what the fuck are you talking about and, and I, I said no but there is no fucking way Molchat Adoma is coming to Tbilisi and I don't have to travel for their concert so I went and looked it up right and god be fucking hold it was true it was true fucking Molchat Adoma is coming to my country and I will get to see those three Belarusian depressed dudes live. I couldn't even notice them because just look at the lineup, right? I, I, first of all, I don't, I don't know any of these people. And in the main stage of 28th June, Molcha Doma is listed the fourth. Bro, it should have been picked first. Who the fuck is Polo and Pan? I want my Russian depressed man, okay? Oh, Belarusian, sorry. So yeah. That's about the end of this vid. Thank you a lot for watching. I will be going to the Molcha Doma concert and probably telling you about the experience that I got there. Thanks a lot for the support and goodbye.